Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another Borderlands 3 video and today we're going to be going over and discussing the brand new information on Promethea, which is a planet that will be featured in Borderlands 3 and we've learned a fair bit about the Atlas Hub. Now the question I think most of us have been asking is how the heck did Promethea go from a planet that was regularly chastised for being horrible and poor and for making Pandora look nice to becoming much more in tune with a giant opportunity in such a short window. Well, let's try and answer that with the new information that has just gone up on the official Borderlands website. So let's first start off with the description and I quote, home to the Atlas Corporation headquarters, Promethea is a metropolitan world covered in futuristic towers of chrome and glass. A recent siege by Maliwan has turned the urban environment into a war zone. Their mechanized infantry patrol the streets. Rodent insect hybrids known as ratches infest the sewers and back alleys and the children of the vault are seizing the opportunity to recruit displaced and disgruntled citizens. Atlas CEO Reese Strongfork is getting desperate. Well, I'll start off by saying that I think the answer to that question is the hugely successful return of Atlas under Reese Strongfork. Unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for Mr. Strongfork now that Molly Wan and the Children of the Vault are lighting things on fire and shooting people. I will now turn our attention to the map. Promethea features large bodies of water indicated by a seaport. We also have been given a location for the Atlas campus, but the exciting part for me is the Titan Skyway because that begs the question of what and who is potentially flying around. As you can see in this short video clip, things are certainly flying around and they appear to be Maliwan drop pods, which are being taken down by the city's anti-aircraft weaponry. As we've already learned, the Children of the Vault is based on Pandora and and about 10 billion strong according to Lilith. And they are recruiting on Promethea as well, so I assume that number may grow as we move planet to planet. Now on to the screenshots. This first shot here shows a police bot, which we've seen in the gameplay, and some form of a janitor bot because this is the future and people no longer clean. In this second shot, you can see Maliwan in their work as they continue their siege, and judging from their banners, I'd say they're quite proud of their work. Now this third shot is interesting and it shows more of the city limits or the outskirts of the city definitely a little bit slummy and we have this wonderful billboard who wants to bang a bazillionaire hey if we're not doing prenups i'll do a lot more than that and you can also see children of the vault propaganda as well which this next shot shows is definitely working because we have psychos all over the rooftops and kv who I'd venture to guess is the bazillionaire from the previous shot. So we're going to be skipping over the city shots as they're things we've seen a ton of already and there's really not much more to add. So let's move on to our creatures and I'm willing to bet they aren't very nice. So we know they're ratches and they have some friends who look like some form of mutated bugs, triceratop looking things. I'm not really sure but they're pretty damn scary. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you've got something to add, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Link will be in the pinned comment if you want to check it out for yourself. And if you're into Borderlands, consider subscribing and becoming a member. I'll see you in the next one. Later.